So, hey guys, Chaozi here. So, trash map against Sanji is over. And I recorded one of my last nav levels. This is nav level 150. If you know me, this is basically as low as I go in a treasure map. I rarely do less than this. And like before every treasure map, I usually say I'll do at least this many. Usually I do more, but this time I did say I'm doing at least 150. And I ended up doing like 152 or something. And the reason I didn't do more is firstly because I'm super busy with work. The new school term starts tomorrow actually for me. So going to be busy while I get back into gear, so to say. Uh, another reason I didn't play more is because this trash map was pretty bad. Mostly because of the bonus map. I actually think the normal map was, map was pretty good, pretty realistic to get a bento regularly. There are like two different options you can take to get a bento. So like every five now levels, I say you get two bento at least on average, which is very good. Saves you a lot of gems for refilling the treasure map stamina. Uh, another annoying part with this treasure map was some of the mini bosses, and like of, I was I've also said before that I was very disappointed with this fight in particular. Like it forces you to use Uta, but Uta doesn't buff any of the new treasure map recruits. Very stupid battle, but still it worked nicely with Sora Frank Captain up until now. I'm sure it will have worked at least 200 nav levels more. But yeah, main issue I said was the bonus map. Main problem was that we get the same map as the normal map. And there's just not realistic to get that many rainbow chests. So this is easily the treasure map. We have got the least amount of like treasure map tickets in particular, which is the most valuable resource you get from treasure map. So I was very disappointed with that. I need to be careful with how I spend my treasure map tickets for this month. I usually try to save some in case I want to fully level limit break an old treasure map unit or such. Otherwise most of, of it is spent on uh, level limit, uh, limit break charge. Maybe some crystals as well. And yeah this Robin team is easily the first teams I made. Like if I went for top 10 or something this team would stop working pretty fast. But, since I'm not doing that, it turned out fine. Like, what matters to me is like, get the wave clears for the stage 1 and 2, and use as few specials as possible, stage 3, while also not needing to do too many taps. And I say this team is borderline, but uh, it was the best I could come up with. Like for me that's one of the more fun parts with treasure map, it's seeing these min bosses in particular and optimize them as much as you can to make them as little as a pain as possible. So you could say I failed with this, but it was bearable. The other ones were very good at least. I did end up changing the team against Brook from the video I made before the treasure map. We can't fully showcase it here since we face the mini boss on a map. And if you know your treasure map, that means that this mini boss would be level one, which is obviously very easy. In retrospect, I didn't really need Fuji here since I do more damage than I need uh, without using Fuji. So I could just put in a higher point booster here. Uh, in retrospect, I probably didn't need he over here either. I could have put in another team where I needed more damage, but uh, you can say that my motivation was low this treasure map. So 
everything worked. I didn't feel like making changes. Otherwise, that's one of my favorite things, mid treasure map, to continue optimizing teams. But I just wasn't feeling it, this treasure map, like every team went unchanged. Basically that never happened. I think this might be the first time I've not made basically any change from like nav level five. Like you do make some small changes in the beginning, but then not make any change until level 150. I've probably never done that. But yeah, it might be because I went so hard last month, combined with this treasure map not being that great, but yeah. Uh, this is also a team I felt could have been better, but I just uh, kept with it. And like, if I face it on map, I still need to use one special, and eventually I had to use two specials when I faced this against... Uh, at the end of the run, when there, it's not level 1. But yeah... Uh, we can be pretty sure that the film Red events will continue for more than another other month. So next treasure map shall also be film Red. Like the poster heavily implies that it's the second form of Chopper from the film Red, the second costume so to say. So we'll probably keep this map for Elegia. So next trash map will probably also be meh. But yeah, it is what it is. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, if you're like me and are low on, low on goal keys, which I know very few people playing this game does have a goal key problem. It's basically me and a handful of other tryhards. But... If you are in that position, like remember that before next treasure map, we are very likely getting another Grand Voyage. And it should be against Don Krieg, and it should probably be we want Sanji focus, so in fighter. So it's probably good to save some gold keys. Since you might need to do some limited expansion for that one. I did, would have loved if they made something else during the movie celebration though. I said it many times, I'd love if they went back to... I think it's called Fuxia. The first island where Luffy met Shanks. Would have been cool to do a versus Shanks mission or something there. For Uta. Would have been interesting at least. But yeah, speaking of film Red, next week should be the big one. The Super Sugo should drop. I'm interested to see what happens. I made my predictions. I'm not going to talk about them here. We can talk about it after we get official confirmation. But we know that Chopper is getting another unit, so we can probably assume that most other movies will as well. Maybe some are legends, maybe not. Maybe some are free to play. Maybe we get a lot more movie batches. All in all, I feel like. It, these last months have been awfully planned, like, this will be the third month in a row where every straw hat gets a new unit. That's just overkill, since they already get so many units. Like, there was no reason for the summer batch to also be straw hat focused. Yeah, as said, bad planning, but it is what it is. And yeah, I'm happy that this team worked out. I really hated the idea of using Uta when she doesn't boost any other units basically. So I like Chopper Captain a lot more than since he boosts all the end units. And yeah, for some reason I kept messing up in these battles. It was pretty annoying. Uh, it was probably due to lack of focus. Like when you don't have a lot of interest it does impact your performance. This was probably one of the few trash maps where I actually forced myself to play more than I wanted. Not recommended in general. Like if I feel the same for next treasure map I will just lower my goals a bit. 
Like my goal was 150, so that means I need to average like 30 rounds per day. And I didn't feel like doing that, but I forced myself to do it. And if I change that to say 100, then I just need to do 20 rounds a day. So yeah, I just decide myself how hard I want to go and adapt to that. But yeah, there's a month left to another treasure map. But it's not weird that I get this feeling. I guess it's like a burnout or temporary lack of interest. It's just that I've gone too hard on events and now I have other stuff to think about. So it just happens. But yeah, that's my nav level 153 true. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.